What's up there YouTube, my name is Enchanty5 and I'm bringing you guys another video. I was like, you know what, I woke up today, I'm off for the day, I have, I have quite a bit of work, but I wanted to bring you guys another daily video. I have a ton of videos, as you can see here, I'm constantly up daily, uploading daily videos, and I have a ton of videos that are still unpublished, and uh, I'm pretty much just constantly bringing you guys content, so I figured why not give you guys a double upload one, one of these days and do something a little bit different than uh, I normally do. So, anyways, today I have another card discussion, I want to talk about this card because it's been honestly just... Probably the most sought after super rare that I've seen out of the new boss set, or at least everybody's asking for it. Every time I went to one of the sneak peeks this past weekend, and, and people were just constantly looking for this card, and uh, now more or less people are saying this card is pretty much a staple either like in the side deck, and if you're not at least side decking, you should at least be main decking a couple of this. Um, it's a super, and it's Twin Twister, and so many people already know what this card does. If you don't, I mean, it's a quick play spell, and it's essentially like a little, like a one for one MST in the sense, or not really a one for one. It's a two for two technically, but it breaks even. Basically, it's a quick play spell that says discard one card, then target up to two spellers slash trap cards on the field, destroy them. So. It's essentially a 2 for 2 MST that's also a quick play, coincidentally. So you activate it either during your turn, you can just play it. You can set it, activate it during your opponent's turn when they play two scales. Um, and the best part is, it says uh, you can target up to two spell slash trap cards on the field. So uh, something to keep in mind with this is because it doesn't, uh, it doesn't actually say uh, how many cards, uh, you don't, ne there, there doesn't have to be two cards on the field, so like if your opponent just sets like a back or whatever, and let's say you're going for game and you just need to clear that one back row, and Twin Twister's the only way you can do it, you could just Twin Twister the one back row, you don't, there ha doesn't necessarily need to be two uh, cards on the field for you to hit with this card, so I think that's a huge benefit of this card, and the fact that it, it's just a really versatile card, MST is great, but one for one cards are just not as good, and honestly, if you're playing a deck like Pepe or any deck that can really accumulate uh, advantage really, really quickly and has pretty much expendable resources, being able, you know, having to discard that card doesn't really make much of a difference, especially if you can stagnate your opponent's game state and pretty much prevent them from advancing their own game states uh, through, you know, whether it be Pendulum Summoning or whatever other game mechanic they may be using or setting back rows, uh, makes Twin Twister really, really just uh, a, a huge factor in the game, and I think this card will definitely, uh, in the, I'm assuming at YCS Atlanta, we'll probably see this card be a 3 of in the majority of side decks, if not potentially even being main deck, maybe as a 1 or 2 of, uh, just because this card is just that powerful, uh, you know, people have been expecting this card for quite a while, and uh, I wanted to get you guys two cents, now I only have two of these, I didn't really, I don't really go to locals anymore outside of that sneak peek, but um, I do plan on hopefully picking up a third one of these and maybe bringing you guys some deck profiles. Uh, whether it be they be in real life or on Dueling Network, and obviously want to profile Mermails for you guys once I get my third Nepta Abyss in the mail, but um, I don't have like Solemn Strike or Infinity or or uh, Perform Pal Pendulum Wizard. I don't really think it's a really good investment to pick up all that stuff right now, unless you're going to regionals for LA. Um, and even then, I mean, you should just get that stuff before Atlanta if you plan on going there. Like, I don't think it's a very solid investment to pick up cards that are overhyped right now. Um, unless they're truly bound to go higher, and the set drops this week, so um, this card will probably be pretty easy to pick up. I know people are valuing these around like ten to fifteen bucks at sneak peek. Um, I haven't checked eBay price as of late, but uh, I'm sure it's probably still hovering around like ten bucks or so. Um, that was a pretty easy super to pull, from what I noticed. I pulled um, out of both my entries. I pulled one twin twister each. So uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool card. I really like it. The artwork is really cool. It has magical hats on it in this little. Uh, I don't. I don't know what that is in the corner. It kind of looks like a. It's it's if you look at it really closely, it's a scapegoat on a tree with a little bit of with a little telescope thing. I think that's a uh, that old school telescope card. I forgot what it is. I think it's called like ancient telescope from the original Kaiba deck, uh, the original Kaiba starter deck. So that's pretty cool. This is kind of some original artwork here, and we have twisters on there. Um, I really like that. I really like nostalgic artwork. So it's a pretty cool card. Let me know what you guys think. Of it. Are you guys using it? Did you, do you guys already have three of these? And if you don't, do you guys plan on picking them up and using them? Do you plan on maining them, side decking them? And in what deck? Let me know. I'd really love to hear you guys' insight. Um, and if you guys tested this card out, because I haven't had too much of a chance to test it out just because of school. But um, yeah, nonetheless, I think it's a fantastic card. Fantastic and versatile. And uh, that you know, there's not much else you could ask for. So uh, add me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at Inch95. I'll see you guys in my next video. Uh, I'll, you know, I hope to bring you guys more daily content, maybe a couple more daily double uploads if I can, and uh, I'll see you guys around. Peace out, and remember, duelists, limits like fears are often just an illusion. I'll see you next time, guys.